was good yo my name is daniel uh and i started this channel just to talk a little bit about like owning my 2015 civic si and the mods that i've done and the mods i plan to do uh it's not by any means like you know i know everything and like i can't learn from you guys uh i, I really want to learn you know there's a lot i don't know about this car this is my first honda this is my first a lot of things uh and so, you know, just bear with me. I'm also, this is my first time using a GoPro. I just picked this up a couple days ago, so I'm still getting used to it. So, you know, bear with me. Uh, it's a learning experience for me and just learning editing and all that good stuff and doing YouTube. I did YouTube, you know, like every kid when I was 10, uh, doing like FIFA videos or whatever, but like it never worked out. So this is something I feel like people might actually enjoy, you know, a little tour of my car and then uh, some POV driving on my way back home uh, from the gym. Sorry, the lighting's kind of ass. My 2015 Honda Civic SI. Uh, it's a two-door coupe and uh just to start off so i have a carbon fiber cybon carbon fiber hood it's the v style so it has this really really big vent right here in the middle uh, it's good for heat dissipation not so much sucking in air uh but dissipation for sure um my next favorite mod here i have our custom headlights made by brian trumley i think is his last name uh stick hid to instagram and facebook hit him up uh, and these are custom made. They have a projector housing in there with a red ring to match my car. Uh, an HID 7700K blue, like ocean blue kind of bulb. And then a switchback LED with daytime running lights and a uh, signal. And then a built-in bulb as well. Um, uh, that's pretty much it for aesthetic mods. Uh, I do have BC Racing coilovers as well. Uh, HFP OEM in 18 inch uh, Honda wheels as well. Just picked those up a couple days ago. Really, really loving the look on these. I do have a front tie bar. I'm not sure how much it does, um, but it's there. It's been shredded because I do a lot of toge runs with my buddies and stuff. Um, and you know, it doesn't always come out great. So there's my Instagram if you guys want to follow me. Pacific Northwest FG4. Uh, again, a couple little arrow things here and there. I do have a HIC set of uh, side window deflectors as well as a rear window deflector. And then this is a car use design aero flap Coogee for the 1415 Civic. Uh, and it does provide extra downforce. It also looks really, really cool in my opinion. It has a line of 3M tape that goes all the way along the bottom. Uh, and then you can see there my exhaust. I have the NVIDIA two and three quarter inch cat back. Super, super loud, uh, but I really do love the sound, uh, you know, and it's paired with a downpipe. I'll get to that later when I get into the motor. It's It's been a blast. Like I said, it's been my first everything, my first set of coilovers, my first car that I tuned, like e-tuned. Uh, shout out to Yash Tune for that, by the way. Um, did a great job, car runs phenomenally with the mods I have. You know, it's a daily driver, so it takes me to and from school and everywhere when I'm on break, uh, and I really do love it. So just a couple more shots of the car. Like I said, it's nothing super special. It's, you know, I like to modify my car so that it stands out from the rest. I don't see a lot of these on the street. I don't know if you guys do from where you're at, but uh, I really don't. I see a few, very, very few, and usually they're kind of rude. They don't wave, you know, so I've tried to wave, but I've just kind of noticed that people don't really care too much about these cars, and, you know, that's totally cool. I like to appreciate cars that maybe other people don't. My first car was a 99 Camry, uh, and I modified that just a tad before I got super into cars. Um, you know, that's what got me into cars, and so, yeah. Got a Wasted Sticker. Shout out to Wasted Space. Those were the first ones I really went to and really got me involved into the car scene and stuff like that. I also do take pictures. I'm not super great. Uh, I have still an A6000 with a 15mm lens. You know, just starting out, all of this is just for fun to see where it goes. So, uh, I will pop the hood and I'll get some interior shots for you as well. Alright, so, uh, lighting is pretty, pretty bad. I'm sorry about that. I'm in a parking garage. But uh, again, 2.4 liter K24 C7. Uh, completely unopened, 30k miles, super, super bone stock when I bought it and I've done all the mods. So here we have a Takeda cold air intake. It's a intake that uses the stock air box and stock passage. Um, so it gets okay air, probably like negotiable to the stock air box. But I bought it, it was, you know, some guys had it on a good deal. So I thought to jump on it. Um, we also have a Megan Racing strut tower bar brace here as well. Uh, and then under there, you know, my BC Racing coils. Uh, and then here's some of the wiring and stuff that I did. I don't know if you can see that for my headlights, a couple ballast plugs, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and then I do have a PLM three inch catted downpipe in the back there. Uh, really, really good mod. I love that. And then I have the Hasport 70A millimeter uh, rear motor mount. Dude, game changer. I'm serious. Like that motor mount is humongous. You need to get, if you have one of these cars, even if you don't have a downpipe, 
buy one of those downpipe, uh, one of those rear motor mounts. They are crazy good with uh, like how they improve the handling and the shifting of the car. Like the car at wide open throttle, like my passenger sometimes they say, you know, usually you feel like a shake in the car. You don't feel that with this car, with that motor mount. And you can go 62A, 70, or 80, I believe. Um, and shout out to Seiko Speed, uh, SeikoSpeed.com. That's where I get all my parts. And again, I'm not affiliated with any of these people. I just shout them out because they've done an exceptional job at providing parts for me and my car. Uh, timely manner, good prices, good customer service as always. Uh, and so yeah, you know, a couple little things here and there. Uh, I will do a little showcase of the headlights. Those are my favorite so far. Really, really good output. Uh, so let me get this turned on for you. So let's see if they want to stay on this time. So again, there is that blue 7700K. Super, super good quality, super bright. I'm not sure if this is gonna catch that, but you can see the LED bar up there working. It's magic. Let's see if we can get a shot from over here. Yeah, look at that. I'll have to mess with the brightness a little bit in Photoshop and Lightroom and see if I can get it so you guys can see it better. Kinda of tough. Um, so yeah, really, really good output. I have them adjusted so that you know the cutoff line is really good so like it doesn't blind traffic, all that good stuff. Nothing too crazy with the taillights. Unfortunately, 1415 coupes didn't get much love in the taillight department. I do have a guy maybe making me clear tails. He hasn't responded to me in a little bit, so not super sure what's going on with that. But for now, stock taillights do well. Let's look at the inside here really quick. Let me kill these lights so that that stops beeping. So my interior is really, really basic. Uh, I do have a 2015 Honda CRV head unit in there with Apple CarPlay. Uh, that was a retrofit I did myself. 3D printed a bezel. It doesn't look amazing. Um, if you guys want more shots of that, let me know. It does work really, really good. And then I also have a red dome light, courtesy of Brian Trumley. Appreciate you, brother. And then I have an FK8 Type R OEM shift knob that I got from my friend Margo. Uh, she traded her, she got in a wreck with her SI and she didn't, uh, she ended up upgrading to a Type R and kept the SI shift knob. So she put that on her car. Um, yeah, that's honestly pretty much it. Like it's just a little intro video, get to know me and my car. Like I said, if you see, if you're local, I'm in Oregon. Uh, if you're local, you know, say what's up, hit me up. I'm always down to cruise, take pictures, you know, learn more about the community as a whole. I really have enjoyed my time in the car community and I hope that it stays that way. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, let me know as always, I appreciate the feedback. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do some POV night driving on my way home from the gym here. Get a little VTEC pulls, you know, a little regular driving and just show you guys what the car can do. It's, it is E-tuned, like I said, by Yosh Tuned, making says around 210 wheel horsepower. Uh, and that's with all the mods, the downpipe, the intake, the tune, the cat back, and all that good stuff. Like I said, not super heavily modified. I do plan on boosting, you know, later on, but that's a big, big step. I think my next mod that I really want to do for this car is the RBC manifold. If you guys don't know, the RBC is the 8th gen SI manifold, uh, and it's made of aluminum, I believe, and on this car it's made of plastic. So the VTEC crossover isn't as noticeable in this car, so I'll see if hopefully the GoPro can pick that up when we're doing the POV drive. But nonetheless, you know, it still rips good. I have a lot of fun in this car. I've done a couple burnouts. You know, front wheel drive, you can get pretty pretty rowdy. Uh, and two, two, excuse me, wow. Toge runs are amazing in this car. Being front wheel drive, you can really yank through the corners and just absolutely demolish rear wheel drive as well in the track too. Uh, I did a couple track runs over the last summer at PIR and uh, I plan to do that again this summer. And I was keeping up with some 392s just because of their weight and you know, their rear wheel drive, they can't send it as hard into the turns as I can. Uh, and, I, and on top of that, of course, I do plan to get new tires. Right now I'm running some Continentals Extreme Contacts Eco tires. Uh, so they're high tread wear, you know, really really durable and good for daily driving but not as good for the track or, or spirited driving unfortunately so i do plan to get a set of i think firestone firehawk uh indy 500 summer tires those go for about 600 for the set uh and i'll put those on my blades because i still do have those the oem wheels that came on this car are called blades uh they're all right you know they look good on this car but i really really wanted the hfp wheels which stands for honda factory performance it was a special package that came on these cars so if you do if you like what you see Stick around, give me a like, go ahead and give me a comment. If you want me to follow you on Instagram or something, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, let me know. Um, and you know, subscribe, turn that bell on if you want. I'm gonna be trying to post content pretty frequently here. I'm going back to school here in a few weeks. 
like two weeks uh and so you know i'll be a little bit busier but i'll still get plenty of runs in as the weather gets better and track days are coming up too hopefully around like may um and so i'll be vlogging all of that stuff and i'll be you know putting gopro on the top of the car and just showing off my runs and stuff like that you'll get to see all my fails all that good stuff so i'm really really excited for track this year like i said this car is in way better shape than it was last year it did have the coilovers and stuff but the tire situation wasn't great and it didn't have the downpipe or the rear motor mount uh helping me out so and hopefully I think I want to do the RBC spot maybe before I go on the track, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I feel like installing that. It's kind of a lot of work. Um, but, you know, we will see. I've done a lot of work. I've only owned this car since November 2021, and everyone who sees, who's seen the car, they're like, dude, you do a lot of work. Uh, I have, unfortunately, I have a problem, and I like to modify my car, and I like to make it look like mine. I don't want it to look like every other uh, ninth gen out there, you know? I want to be different. So whether that's good or bad, that's my choice, and that's how I like to live my life. So. We will get some POV driving for you guys and uh, head home and then cut the video there. Alrighty, what's good? We are on the POV now. All right, one more quick check. Make sure everything is good. Sweet, all right, let's do it. Let's get those lights on, baby. All right, let's roll. So yeah, as I said, daily driver. Uh, super, super fun car, I love it. Again, that motor mount makes a huge difference and I love this radio, this radio is awesome. Uh, like I said, 2015 CRV head unit it has to be the EX model or EXL model that doesn't have navigation because you can't use the navigation. Uh, like on this car, it came with the navigation on the OEM head unit, can't use it. Uh, it messes with the car play, it bugs out. Like if you like to use Waze and stuff, it'll mess with the speedometer as well as your location. Uh, and you know, you don't want that. So just keep it unplugged and it works super, super good. All right, let's swing her right here so we can head home. Do a little baby rip here and then we'll get on the freeway right quick just to get everything going. Car is at operating temp, which is sweet. Don't wanna do anything on a cold car. Don't wanna damage anything. And that motor mount, man, I love that motor mount. Oh, it just makes the shift so buttery smooth. Let's go. To the freeway we're gonna do a nice big rip full throttle problem at least here in Oregon they're pretty lenient I know if you're in California you know that fucking sucks I sorry I'm sorry for all of you uh, that are in California my buddy Brian who made these lights he's in California and he has to smog his car so he had to put it back to stock so that he can get it state ref to make sure that it passes uh, really really unfortunate stuff you know but that's just how life goes and thankful to be in Oregon Oregon has its perks and its downsides you know as every state does so uh, let's see if we can get the mileage on there 32,776 miles. I bought it with 20K off the lot. 
Uh, and it's been a great, like, 12,000 miles. I cannot speak enough about this car. I've loved every minute of driving this car. Uh, you know, driving it a couple hours to buy parts or to school or, you know, wherever I'm driving. It's just, it's been such an exciting run. And I just, I can't wait to see where this car takes me. I know how reliable these cars are being Hondas as long as you keep up on maintenance, you know, with oil changes, uh, fluids, and, like, you know, the, the, the timing chain as well, since these are interference engines with that VTEC. Um, but yeah, you know, super, super fun car. Great gas mileage too, to be honest. Like riding in the city, you're getting like 25 miles to the gallon. Like, it's not amazing, but you're not driving a Prius, you know? Don't expect 40 miles to the gallon. And on the freeway, you can push like 30 or 35. It's really, really nice. And it has that little infotainment up there that can I can cycle through with the buttons on the steering wheel here, power monitor, uh, a clock, my showing what I'm like displaying on my big radio here. Um, and yeah, man, like I said, this car is just a lot of fun. The exhaust, I love it. It's it's rowdy and it, you know, it wakes up when on a cold start, on a cold morning here. I uh, got in a couple 20s, you know, 30s. It, it does make some noise. Um, but nonetheless, I love it. But you know, that might be a mod for another time if I decide to go FBO, uh, full bolt on for those who don't know, which is anything that can be done to the car without uh, ripping apart the motor or tearing it open. So, you know, things like that of that nature. Uh, really really fun for this car so again if you guys really do like what uh what i'm putting out so far you know first video go ahead and give me a like subscribe and comment what some ideas that you want if you want some toge runs if you want some more pov driving during the daytime i can make that happen you know just whatever you want i'm here to please and you know just have fun with it that's that's the idea is just have fun with everything really so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one